Shefty, I'm countdown before you guys, uh, before these games started, and he was on Twitter saying Brady remains non-committal to playing beyond this season, and although he could decide to play again, it is currently not given. Sources tell Jeff Darlington and he, Shefty. So, let's come out and go into this. If you were watching our show last week, you heard Rob Nikovich suggesting similar things that people who know Brady well have sort of been starting to give some signals, which makes one wonder if he is starting to give some signals. How, Dan, did you interpret that? Well, that's new. That's unlike seasons of the past or off seasons of the past where – the conversation has never been, I may retire. It's always, I want to play till I'm 45. That's what Tom has said. Not only that, but the fact that it became public knowledge, the fact that it got out as a public conversation was the thing that going into the game felt different. Brady is the guy who's probably the greatest ever football-wise when it comes to keeping things off the field, off the field, and never allowing them to become part of the conversation, certainly while they're playing. So I was really surprised that it came out. And I think as I sit here today, I wouldn't be surprised if Tom retired. With the way things ended and all that stuff, I just wouldn't be surprised how it ended. What do you think, R.C.? If he retired. R.C. Yeah, you know what? I truly don't know. And, and I know you like me to get on here and, and make up some stuff. Like, I could tell you what's in Tom Brady's mind, but I just can't. When you look at the way that they lost this season, not having a guy like Chris Godwin, Antonio Brown absolutely flipping his lid and taking off his clothes and leaving, and then fighting your way back into this game and having the defense let you down when you had an opportunity to get in overtime, how does Tom Brady digest that? Does he digest that as, you know what, I just – it aren't good enough. I just am, am not good enough. Or my team isn't good enough and we can take the next steps or we can't. There's so much that's going to transpire in this offseason. They brought back, brought back all 22 starters. That won't happen next year. Tom Brady won't be walking back into a situation where we think that they have the best team in football. But he's also the ultimate competitor and his competit competitiveness has shown us that he can overcome the adversities. Is he willing to do that at 45 with his family now getting older with his wife having stuck by him throughout this process and looking towards do I have what it takes to put in the work to win the championship not just the ability I think it's going to be a tough decision for Tom Brady the ultimate competitor what do you think Rex yeah I agree completely with that and here's the thing all right as as a quarterback this man had one of the best Years, I mean, in the league, he led the league in in uh, yardage. Yep. He led the league in, in touchdown yeah. passes. He had one of the greatest. And years by in the history. way, this game right here, he was unbelievable in this game. So to me, look, we all want to see our guys, our heroes, go out on top. He's going out on top if he leaves this way, in my opinion. The other thing, he's going out if he left now. He's leaving with all his faculties. Like this guy is healthy, and I think that's important. Now, the competitor in him. Oh, my gosh. He wants to get back on that field. Mm -hmm. I mean, tomorrow. Like, literally, he wants to get back on that field. But I think he's going to – I mean, I, I believe what he says. He's going to take time. He'll evaluate it and do what's best for him and his family. And, you know, we witness th – this is the GOAT. So, regardless of what his decision is – yeah, I mean, amazing. Quick final word. I think it comes down to, is he happy being in Tampa Bay? Is he happy with everything, both on the field and off the field, mm -hmm. with the way they're running the football team? And also, this roster is going to look very different next year than yeah. it does right now. And he's got to factor that into his decision. Good Bruce point. Arians did say after the game that he expects to be back coaching the Buccaneers next year. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.